Welcome fellow Airsoft players and enthusiasts, channel host Marshmallow. And in this series we are going to be tackling the app called ATAC and all the uses that we have. So stick around. Alright, so now let's get uh, the ATAC customized a little bit to our uh, personal taste. Uh, get some shortcuts as I like to call them, moved around and so forth. So let's hop on over to ATAC. Right, so I went ahead and opened up ATAC and uh, as you see I'm just looking randomly here, nothing too special. What we're going to focus on is the uh, toolbar on the top. See how we've got all of those icons there? They're fine, but some of them may not be useful to us. We might find that we don't use them as much. Uh, and again, just to say that this is in version 4.4. 4.5 uh, looks different, and you don't have nearly as many um, icons here that you can mess around with. Nonetheless, uh, so the three dots in the top right, click on that. And we are going to scroll down until we see Toolbar Manager. We tap that. It brings us here. Uh, this is all those ones that um, were in the top and some that may not have been. But I think, yeah. If we go up to the top next to what looks like the outlet, there's that Configure button. Tap on that. Uh, this is where we can label it. Uh, I don't know. I'll just put uh, Test. Save. Okay, so now here's where we can start to uh, bring some things that we may not need. Now, offhand, we may say, I, I don't know what some of this stuff is, but I don't know if I want to remove it. That's okay. Uh, you could pause here. You could start playing around with them and see uh, what I'm going to be looking at first is, uh, for example, this one right here. This is videos. I don't use the video player very often in there, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Uh, let's see. We'll tap the Z. This is the roots. I don't use that very often, so I'm going to tap that here. Now, I'm dragging this off to the left. This is the hidden folder. If you don't want that to be hidden, you just want that overflow. So, like when we hit those three dots, we get that menu coming down. You can drag them in there if you want. Um, that, But you can always come back to this at any time, too. If you find that, oh, hey, this uh, shenanigans that I removed, I can actually use this, you can come back. Don't worry. This doesn't, it isn't a set it, and then you, you uh, messed forever. No, you're good. Yeah, so that's pretty good. So I'll hit the back button to kind of save that. So now what we'll see is that one icon was changed. We didn't do much except remove that. Um, I'm going to hop back in here and I'm going to switch some of these around to what makes sense for me and my mind putting them together. Like this is kind of scattered. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go back into that toolbar manager, the configure. And for example, the uh, Red X tool, right click, hold that, we move it right there. The Bloodhound, um, I don't use that too much actually, I'm going to put this into here. So now I've moved that into my overflow. Alright, so now that I've got uh, this set up just the way I like it, again, you can come in and configure this at any time if you're finding something's not working or something has changed. Uh, you're all good to go. Uh, just to go over some of the ones here, uh, like the plus here, you can tap that to zoom in and the minus to zoom out. Uh, you can also take two fingers, spread out and in, and that will also uh, do the same effect. Now, if you have a point where you don't want that menu for a little bit or whatever, if you tap and hold the screen, it will show you right here, toolbar hiding. Okay, so now that toolbar on the top is gone. And then we just tap and hold again to bring that back. So that's just a little bit there. And now you'll see here on the side how our data package and all these things are in uh, that order. If you find that you want something more towards the top, like uh, for example, we're scrolling down all the way down here to get to, I don't know, like settings. I prefer to have that closer to the top so I don't have to keep messing around. I can just come to here, come to configure, grab that settings, and try to move it up. If it wants to work with me, I'm just gonna okay, whatever. I'm just gonna try, <laughs> grab them one at a time and just kind of move that up. Uh, we'll do that. Configure, and this is all set. Now, if you look up at the top here towards the left, you'll see where we named it test, and there's a little carrot. Click on that, and there's some other settings that are just set up. So there's a default planning minimal. Uh, 
and of course one we created. So there's you can have multiple ones. So if you're finding again like this, hey, I have one setup that I like for when I'm trying to make my data packages, and do all my planning, and yada yada yada. I like that setting. If you have one that you say, hey, this is what I like for when I'm in the field, I have very minimal, blah blah. blah. You can make that. So that's something that's kind of cool that you can keep in mind. You could make multiple ones, and um, that way you don't have to have you know whichever. So there's that tidbit. All right, so this is pretty much it for uh, setting up that toolbar and your size. So see now, settings is at the top for me, input manager and data package. So instead of me having to scroll all the way down, you know, it just saves seconds, but when you're doing a lot of different tasks, those seconds add up. So hopefully that helps uh, and gives you some ideas of what you can do with uh, customizing that.